Hi guys, it's Carrie from Rockin' G Farm. Today, I am gingerly walking out to get some seeds so I can save them off of my um, zinnia plant and some of my sunflowers. I have some dill that I want to get some seeds from and I have okra that I need to get some seeds from. Just taking a real slow walk. I did walk out yesterday. I saw a cucumber hanging on my cucumber trellis and I walked out here. Felt something on my leg and I kind of kicked my leg and I was like, oh my gosh, I got stung by a bee. I'm like, oh, that'll tell me to come get a cucumber again. I don't know. I don't have to get my clippers. My clippers are actually on the bed where my zinnia is. I do have to tell you, this has never happened to me before and it, it was quite surprising because my zinnias of course were in bed one and it was right beside where we had the squash right behind them and you know that I lost all of my um, squash plants and my zucchini to squash by um, squash bugs and squash vine boars well I left, lost this beautiful, humongous zinnia plant to squash fine boars. I could not believe it. I came down here and it was like, like one day it was beautiful and I was so excited. It was getting huge, huge, beautiful pink blooms on it. And the next day they were all wilted. And I was like, what's going on? And I came down here and sure enough, down here at the bottom, I was crying. I was mad so I threw a cup at it but right down here at the base of it the telltale signs of our squash vine boar um, just the kind of crumbles that it pushes out and then the discoloration and so I lost my zinnia so what I'm doing now is I'm just gonna go ahead and get some of these Bent blooms off of my zinnia, and I'm going to save them because I absolutely love this zinnia plant. So let me get set up and we'll be right back. Okay, so I've got a basket and I have different sizes of plastic bags so that I can save my spent blooms in them, and I have some um, fiskers so I can cut off the blooms. And the best way really to do this is if you can get the spent blooms. I'm not gonna get the ones that didn't open because they didn't really have a good chance to form a good seed for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the ones that are bigger and have were open. So this one down here, let's see if you can see, it's pretty big. Oh, that one's not dried very much. I'll have to leave that one out to dry a little bit. So I'm going to get my Ziploc baggie and just kind of open it up and I'm just going to stick the head in. And then I am just going to get my fiskers and I'm going to clip it off. Show you on my basil right here when your basil goes to flower and get you in real close this right here is where you're going to get your seeds so I'm going to leave my basil out in my garden for a while before it so it can flower and then kind of start dying off and getting hard let me show you my purple basil is in a little different um, stage so it already has it's purple flowers on that. So I'm going to leave this out here and then in a couple of weeks, this will actually turn hard and it will have little bitty seeds in it that are just like, just a circle. Probably, probably about the size of pepper, but they're a round ball. So I'm gonna leave those there I do have some tomatoes I want to plant. I know I have the seed packet from what these were, so I'm gonna have to go back and look at the packet. Oh. Squash bug. Okay. 
Well, I don't see a jalapeno pepper that's big enough that I'm wanting, so um, we'll get those in a minute. I am to the point of tearing out my garden but I have to wait till I have somebody to help me because I can't tear out my garden because it's going to be too much work on my arm. Um, so my garden's just going to stay in here until I can get some help pulling it out. a little bitty tomato on its tail. <laughs> okay, so usually in the End of the season, you don't see very many hornworms, but I found one. Haven't seen some in a while, but there you go. I'm gonna go give them to my chickens. And I do have one hen who's gotten out of the, the coop. We're having a hard time keeping her in the coop. And she'll lay eggs right here in the tomato patch. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to uh, sunflowers. This sunflower was huge. It was the beautiful color. And um, during one of our summer storms, the stalk broke and so it fell down, but it kept blooming sunflowers. I didn't care, I left it here. So let me sh go down here and show you what I do with my sunflowers. And I'll show you the color real, real quick. This is the beautiful color. I mean, it's the perfect fall color. So I wanna make sure that I keep some sunflower seeds off of this so that I'll be able to, um, did you see me, did you see me trip? Yes, I tripped over that basket, lovely. We'll have a wonderful day. Okay, so let's pick up everything put back in my basket. So here's my sunflowers right there. And what you do on sunflowers, you let the back of the sunflower become like a tan, tannish brown. I'm trying to get this to sit down. Wobbly land brown. There we go. But I'm gonna show you how to harvest them quickly. So I get one of my Ziploc baggies, just like I did the other. And then I'm going to make sure that I do have some seeds in here because the birds have been eating it. Yeah, there's some. Okay, so there is a little bit in here, not very many. So I'm just going to put the sunflower head into my bag. That one. Let me show you. Okay, so right here on the back of the sunflower, you can kind of still see, and there's a um, praying mantis on the back of that, and that's really what you want in your garden. They are awesome. They help eat the bugs. They keep all the bad bugs away, so that is awesome. I'm gonna leave that in there, but I, what I was showing you on the back of that sunflower, see how the sunflower, the back is still green? You want to leave those on the stalk until they um, mature a little bit more. Um, you don't want those, you don't want to pick those to um, 
get your seeds from. So, okay. Uh, let me go on down to the next bed. So right here, I have another paste tomato, but I have some of those in the house already. So I'm just gonna use one of those to um, dry and wash the seeds and set the, drink, the seeds out to dry. Look at this. Oh, I thought it was a baby hornworm, but it's not. <laughs> I was fixing to get that. Not that, not that I should care because I'm fixing to rip this out, and when I when I can get to it and when I'm feeling better, I'm gonna plant my fall garden in it. But we have plenty, a lot of saving my seeds instead of having to worry about if they're gonna be in the store. That's really important, especially on the items that I know that my family uses a lot. It's very important for me to keep my seeds. And I see some jalapenos that are pretty long. So really all I would need would probably be about two of them. Let me set you up here on my hay bale. Uh, guys, I'm sorry. This video is just not gonna be up to par today. Like I said, I'm just trying to get y'all a pitch of a video in so that y'all don't think I fell off the, off the planet. Um, like over here, if you can see the pink blooms on the purple basil. So in a couple of weeks, like I said, these are gonna, going to dry, these are going to dry, um, dry up. And then actually, I can just put those in my Ziploc baggie and shake, 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 and the seeds come out super, super easy. And they are so, so easy to um, to grow. You just get those seeds and go sprinkle, 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 and just keep them watered, really, and kind of just like go like this, like you're dusting off your shirt, and that's all you have to do to grow. Um, basil. If you, if you want to start a garden, I would start with basil and just get some basil um, seeds and just next summer just sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle and keep them wet. Not soggy. Moist. Damp. That's a better word. Damp. Okay, let me reach back here and get my um, Cowboy candy. So we've got cowboy candy. Well, I was hoping that we would have one more push of jalapenos so we can make some more um, cowboy candy to give out for Christmas, but I don't think we're gonna have enough because it's really been super hot, no rain in forever. And um, with me out of commission, the garden just kind of went to pot. It was like, it was just my husband and he can't take a, care of the farm on his own. He's the animals, I'm the chicken in the garden. <laughs> so um, it was just, it's just too much, but we got a good harvest out of it. Um, I'm ready to have it taken out and I'm looking at what I'm gonna put in um, in my fall garden. So we're really excited about that. Have some seeds coming in the mail. So we're excited about that. jalapenos yesterday and I put them in the dehydrator so I was excited about that some little habanadas back there habanada peppers back there but I already have several of those on my counter in the kitchen so I'll just use some of those to um, dry for their seeds and that yeah this bed here I was telling my husband like two weeks ago but the um, okra go I'll feed it to the chickens and then I'll save it for next year. But next year I am planning on planting quite a bit of okra because I really do want to can some tomatoes and okra and onions. Oh my heavens. That is the best 
meal. I mean, it, you can just make a meal out of it. It's wonderful. Put this out on my cabinet. I'm gonna let it dry, and then it will break open super easy, and it will have hundreds of round, white seeds in it. So I'm going to put that in the bag. got out and started chasing everybody on the farm. So, I'm just going to put some over down. course my husband's been having to take care of my chickens too so he's gonna have a lot on his plate let me grab some more okra for the chickens for the roosters give them a little bit Take the cages on the roosters from spot to spot every day, but of course, since I've not been able to do that, they've had a couple of they've been out here for about a week and a half now. We just feed them and just leave them in their spot. <laughs> Let me turn this way. This right here is a spent <laughs> marigold. And let me show you. Let me set you in the garden. Maybe you can see me better that way. Okay. And then what it does, this will all dry up. Sorry, I'm starting to sweat. And you just pull them straight out. All of those flat things are seeds. So you want the black part of that looks like a piece of straw. You want that black part to go down into your soil. All those miracles. These I've already gotten. Mm -hmm. I will also set these out on a paper towel to let them dry a little bit more. 
because the flower part or the petal part that has all the color on it is still a little wet and if I put them in left them in my baggies like overnight they would mold and I would lose all of my seeds and you look at all of those seeds that was at least a hundred seeds <laughs> Garden, if I'm throwing it away, or if I'm not throwing it away, what are they thinking? <gasps> That's everything. I got quite a bit. Some of these tomatoes are for eating, so we'll see. Yeah, this, this my green stock has bit the big one too because, like I said, I haven't been able to be out here and help it and keep it going. It's just been too hot and too much on one person to run the farms. And then this one is ready to go to seed. All those little black dots on there are dill seeds. So, ready to go to seed. Not yet ready to go to seed. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing on this one. And then I'll keep watching these and when they are ready to, when they go to seed, I'll come out here and get them too. There's our deal. Okay guys, so I'm back in the house now and I have my sunflower and this is the one that is really dried and died on the stalk. So really all you have to do to get your sunflower seeds out of this is just to get your hands and run it over, start the edges deep first, and then everything's going to start falling out of that. And then you're going to see all of this start falling to the bottom of your sack. It's just kind of pop them out. Sometimes you can, like last year, I, all I had to do was just shake it. That's all I did. I just linked, left them in this bag and they finished drying out and then all of my sunflower seeds came to the bottom of the bag. All the other stuff that's there is just wasted and you can throw that away. But then you have all your sunflowers. This is just a tad moist. So I am going to just leave my baggies open and I'm going to actually pull my zinnias out of the bag since they were really moist. And I'm just going to lay them on a set of paper towel. And I have paper towel, so I have a napkin. Oh yeah, I've got my napkin. I'm just gonna pull my zinnias out and I'm going to sit them on the napkin and let them dry. And that's this, the same concept as um, the sunflower seed. Once they become really super dry, you just really have to just kind of do this and the seeds will fall out. They look kind of like little teardrops. And that's it. And they're real, real flat and they're kind of brown and 
beige. So that's all you do, and just say pink, lighter. And yeah. That way you know what is actually on your napkin. And then that's the same that we're going to do with our okra. We're going to just, I'm just gonna leave it in the bag since it's still in the, um, the actual pod. I'm just gonna leave it in the bag, leave the bag open and just kind of sit it out beside my, um, beside my sunflower seeds. Same thing with the dill. I was trying just to flick it off because once dill is ready to go to seed, you can see some of the seeds have fallen off like and just fallen to the end. And that's what, that's what you're wanting to do. So you'll just start flicking it, but it's still just a little moist, but um, we'll go ahead and make sure that the baggie is open so air can get through it. Now, as far as the tomatoes, there's a fermenting process that you need to go through in order to get the um, gel that's surrounding the seeds off before you can actually dry them out and it is a couple of day process so I will do that later on a totally different um, video but this 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 is really easy super duper easy seed saving it's not rocket science you don't have to kind of like dig a lot for seeds because once your your blooms are hard and very dry your seeds will fall out. So I'm gonna get this other zinnia out and get it on a napkin because it is it is it is moist and we don't want it to be too moist or it will mold. You don't want any of your pods or blooms or anything like that to start molding. So if it's been like a couple of days and it's seems like they're still kind of wet you can pull them out of your bag and put them out on a paper towel or a napkin just so that the air can get to them so that they can can dry out so I'm gonna leave these all open this um, is another one that was real hard on this sunflowers and just kind of kind of pick away at it and then the seeds will just fall to the bottom And you, it might kind of poke your finger a little bit with the um, the pod being really super dry, but you just kind of see how it's just all falling apart and going to the bottom, and then you'll see your sunflower seeds in there. And that's um, that's all you have to do on gathering seeds. Super easy, easy. Uh, Thanks, guys, for joining me as I gathered my seeds from my garden so I could have some free seeds to plant next year. And always remember, make what you have beautiful.